Hi there, this is Wayne Purser with 365 Things to Do in Edmonds, Washington. Today we're going to talk about the 2011 Demiral Jazz Festival. We have Barney and Frank here and they're going to tell us about the jazz festival that's coming up. Welcome. Thanks. 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 The uh, festival now is in its sixth year under the guise of the Friends of the Demiral Organization formed to, uh, to continue the legacy that Frank Demiral has uh, to make him known throughout the United States and Canada. Now, uh, he has, you have been 45 years in producing events, right? Uh, but we're in our sixth year as an organization. We have a festival coming up March 3rd, 4th, and 5th uh, in just two weeks. Okay, great. And that's going to be held at several venues here in town? One. Just one? At the ECA, the Edmonds Center for the Arts. All okay. will be right on that campus. Right now, right. who will be performing at this We have three <laughs> distinguished headliners and an array of others as well. John Pizzarelli, who's been with us before, this will be his fourth visit with us. Okay. We'll be back, and uh, so will uh, we'll know uh, Karen Allison will be with us. Uh, she's been in the area before, is very well known. And Freddie Cole, the brother of Matt King Cole, has his own quartet, his own reputation, and he'll be with us as well. Super. We'll have some local artists, Bill Ramsey, a uh, uh, local legend, an icon in jazz in the area, as is Greta Matassa. Sound Station of the Edmonds Community College will be performing as will Seattle Jazz Singers. Okay, great. And a little bit about the history. How did it start? And well, the festival has actually been going since 1976 in one form or another. And the philosophy behind the festival is that a place where all students have a chance to be have a chance of feeling like they've, they've really had some success in, in their performance in a clinic and a chance of going and seeing uh, Absolute five star first grade jazz artists, and uh, that's the way uh, Barney is our executive director, and okay. it's the way he's put, 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 he's continued to evolve this festival in such a way that, that uh, we have students coming from oh my goodness, all over the place. And we've also the word students is a very broad term here okay. because we have uh, young uh, folks who are at middle school, grade school, middle school, on up through adult groups, okay. and so student means that, that, you know, a lifelong learning uh, right. process. And music doesn't stop, you know, at any point in, in, in our lives. It's, it's always there. So. so you get the idea that there's two components to our festival. There's the daytime program, which brings all of the students, allows them to perform, have a clinic with a professional, and, and learn how to improve themselves. Then in the evening, they have exposure to it, and it's open to the public as well to the, the famous artists. Fabulous. And how would people learn more information about the festival? Well, one thing I'd like to say is that we're uh, gone, uh, forgotten to mention that uh, John Pizzarelli is now our artistic director, and uh, that's that's adding some real credibility to bringing in really top flight uh, uh, artists from you know, around the, the country. And all that Barney does. So they can go to our website at demirojazzfest.org uh, for meeting. They can give me a call if they like at 425-949-6722. Okay, and I'm assuming on the website you'll be able to find out how to purchase tickets for yes. the headliners and also information for the day events. That's correct. We want to thank you for doing this. Yeah. This is a great idea. That's, this is great. That's what I'm doing for the city, letting people know about what's happening. And uh, this is a great event, so if you have a chance to come down, uh, participate and uh, buy a ticket and see what these guys have put together over the years and decades. This is Wayne Purser with 365 Things to Do in Edmonds. Remember, it's an Edmonds kind of day. Hey Wayne, have you heard him play the piano yet? No, I have not.